All right, what's good, guys? Uh, welcome back to Shazzy Tech. So today, we have a little bit of a something happening. We are gonna try to fix this thing right here. So this man is building his first PC. Man, you're building it. I'm building his first PC. I'm helping you. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this man hit me up. He's like, he got a couple of stuff configured already. And what we're gonna do is troubleshoot what is going on and try to finish the build with all of our glorious parts. So to start off the parts list for the motherboard, we got the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. Uh, great motherboard. We got the X570 because it's going to be Gen 4 compatible with the PCIe. So future proof in that. We got the Ryzen 9 3900X because he's overkill for absolutely no reason. And we got 16 gigabytes. 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes? 16 to 16 so, it's so sweet we got 32 gigs of ddr4 from corsair vengeance rgb pro we got 3600 megahertz so that's gonna be great more than enough than he needs for the gpu we actually had to do a micro center run because this man here decides to get a water Yo, cooled one talk about it <laughs> yeah he got a water cooled gpu with no actual custom loop so we did that whole run had fun with that so let's get cracking See, um, let's we'll see if it boots the first time. We're gonna plug it in with the whole power supply, boot it outside of the actual case, and hopefully it goes well. He really trying to make me do it, but I'm like, no. I'm gonna make him enjoy the building process. It's gonna be beautiful. Look at that beautiful EVGA card. Okay, before anybody starts hating on us, yes, I know the 30 series are out, but every single one of you have seen how it is trying to get a 30 series card, so what we decided, is we're gonna get the EVGA card and just do the step up program. Yeah, let's go. Oh look, it's much bigger and less water. <laughs> All right, so everything looks good. Plugged everything in. Uh, let's do a test boot. All right, let's see if it works. Hopefully, I know how to jump start it. I don't know how to jump start it. All right, sweet. Okay, we got that to work. How's the screen looking? Anything on the screen? Anything on the screen? Anything on the screen? Is it posting? Nothing yet. Wait, let it happen. It's gonna take a while. Okay, this should restart in about two seconds. For any new time builders, it takes a while. Like the first boot's always gonna take a little bit longer because it's basically training all the memory so that when it boots up the next time, all the timings and everything are in order. So let's see if it works. All right, sweet. We got into the boot uh, menu. If I said this was our first try, I'd be lying. This was way too hard. This is honestly one reason why you always want to test out the board. According to my previous video, this is why. We were wasting about a good 30 minutes just troubleshooting this. Apparently, this M.2 was not seated properly inside that area right there. So we had to reseat it on the outside with the PCIe Express. And it actually worked this time. So now, we're going to try to go into the BIOS and just mess around. And the rest will kind of just be a montage of us building it and putting it back into here. All right, let's get it.
Okay, we finally got this stupid thing to boot. It is complete, we are good. There have been way too many hiccups. For one, the stupid radiator did not fit. So what we did is we went right back to Micro Center, got a whole new radiator, and now we are looking silky smooth. The pump, in my opinion, looks freaking amazing. A lot of people don't like this style, but me personally, I think it looks amazing and just wonderful. We finally got into Windows, and that's all for today. That's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the build log. Um, stay tuned and like and subscribe as usual. Catch you later.